Hey Internet, today is June 2nd, 2013, and it's about 8 p.m. in the evening, and I'm in Florida. Um, this is my hotel room, and top surgery is happening in two days. Although, really, it's 8 p.m. Today is basically over. Top surgery is in like a day. Um, yeah, it's big. Uh, I don't know. I just have like a lot of feelings about it, but I don't know that I'm necessarily going to be able to articulate them terribly well. So I apologize in advance. And yeah, this this may just be a lot of me like word vomiting. Um, and I don't know if it'll actually be terribly helpful. Um, it's basically just kind of a record of what I'm feeling at the moment. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I'm surprisingly not feeling super anxious about it right now. Um, and, you know, that's weird, like, normally I get, I can get nervous over pretty much anything. Now, whether or not I actually show it, yeah, but, um, like, it doesn't take me, it doesn't take a whole lot to get me nervous about something. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Um. Not that I'm complaining, um, but yeah, um, I don't know. I guess mostly I just feel ready um, because I have been researching this for a good chunk of time, uh, two years, maybe longer. I don't, you know. Um, and I've read a lot of accounts and um, watched a lot of videos. Because uh, normally, like, when I'm nervous about something, I try and just research the crap out of it so that I know what to expect. And for me, that helps. Um, so I don't know exactly every single thing that's going to happen, but I think I have a good picture of it. Um, and that helps me deal with my nerves. Um, but I've been, you know, reading a bunch of different um, accounts of top surgery, and particularly ones um, written by people who have gone to Dr. Garamoni, uh, who's the surgeon that I'm going to, um, if you didn't already know that, uh, and lists, you know, what to bring, what to expect, all that kind of stuff. Um, I found Skylar's stuff to be really helpful. Um, he went and had top surgery with Dr. G December of 2012, I believe. Um, and I can't remember off the top of my head his Tumblr URL. Um, I think I want to say it's queerkid.tumblr.com, um, but I will I will look it up and put a link in the description box, which I believe is down there now because it used to be over here or over there. I don't know. It moves around, but anyway, description box. So check that um, because yeah, he's really awesome. Um, he's written really in-depth posts about pretty much exactly um, what his experiences were, and he also is open to questions. Um, so I've asked him a couple and found his responses to be really helpful. Um, and other people have asked him stuff, and he's posted answers. Um, so he's a really helpful dude, and you should check out that stuff if that's something that you were interested in. Um, so, yeah, uh, not that nervous. Oh, well, okay, so the, mostly when I get nervous is when I start actually thinking about exactly, or, well, thinking about the procedure itself, because I think mostly what I'm focused on at this point is not what exactly is going to happen, but the results of it. Um, or if people ask me if I'm starting to get nervous, then a little bit I, it starts, but it's not too bad. Um, but I don't know, at this point I just kind of want to go and get it done and get it over with, like ripping off a band-aid, like just do it so fast that I don't even have time to think about it, because I've done all my thinking, but I don't really want to think about exactly like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to get sliced up, um, yeah, but yeah, it'll, it'll be worth it, um, so... I don't know. It's pretty big. Um, and I guess I should just like sit like this for the next day or so because it's the last chance that I have to do 
all of that. Oh god, that's really sad, kind of. Little muscles. Anyway, um, yeah, so top surgery happening. Um, I'm sorry I didn't make a 15 month update video. Um, my 15 months was on the 17th of May, but I graduated from college on the 18th of May. Um, so stuff was a little bit hectic. Um, oh, but hey, yeah, I graduated. That was a thing. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, except now I have to figure out what to do with my life, and that is terrifying. But uh, things have been happening in really quick succession. You know, I graduated, I moved all my stuff into storage, I moved back to Southern California, which, in case you didn't know, California is massive, and I went to school like 700 miles away from where I grew up and stayed in state. In fact, from my school in Northern California, I could have kept driving for another two hours before I hit the Oregon border. Like, gigantic. Um, but anyway, so I moved all this stuff, and then a couple, you know, like a week later, came out here um, for top surgery. So, yeah. Um, it's... Big life changes are happening. Um, but as far as uh, 15 months, not really a whole lot to report other than more hair, which seems to be, you know, the trend. Um, other than that, oh, um, just kind of an interesting, well, I don't know, I thought it was interesting, but kind of a side note or anecdote or whatever. Um, when I, so when I was moving home, I flew, I drove down to San Francisco and then flew out of San Francisco to um, Southern California. And when I went through security, I went through wearing my binder because um, I, you know, wear it pretty much all the time. Well, not for much longer, um, but so I did that, and as usual, I got pulled over um, for you know more screening because every time I wear it through the body scanner, something you know shows up, um, and um, the guy who was patting me down was really really thorough about it this time because um, normally they just could do like a pat like across here type thing, and then at the same level across my back. Um, but this guy was like, you wearing some, something under your shirt, man? Like, what, what is that? And I was like, um, yeah, it's a compression shirt. It's for a medical uh, condition. Um, and he's like, oh, okay. But he's like, still, so, there's no pain, right? Because he was like pressing on my stomach at that point. I was like, no, no, it's all right. Um, but he was like feeling the edges of it and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then he went and like patted down my legs, even though like I could see the screen. If you turn around, like once you, okay, so here's the scanner, and here's the line, the starting line. So you walk, you get in the scanner, and then you walk out, and you exit it this way. So if you turn around and face back towards the scanner, you can usually see the screen right there, where there's the little outline of the person, and there'll be like little boxes of yellow where, you know, there's um, something showing up. And it was only like right here, kind of, on the um, little stick person. Um, so he didn't have like, Nothing was showing up on my legs, but he still like patted down my legs too. Um, and it was the most thorough pat down that I've received, um, and I just thought that was kind of interesting that that happened in San Francisco of all places. Like they might have some better idea. I don't know. Um, but you know, he so he questioned me a little bit more about it, but he waved me through, um, and I didn't really have any issues except for the fact that you know I. We got a full pat down, pretty much. But yeah, so hopefully, you know, won't have to do. I'm, I'm I've got my fingers crossed that I'll be able to go through a metal detector on the way out of Florida, because I'm not going to be able to raise my arms like this. Um, but you know, I can ask. I can just tell them that I had surgery and tell them that I can't raise my arms, and then probably will end up getting another pat down. But whatever. Um, so. That's my story, I guess. Um, yeah. So, I think I'm going to cut this off because we're approaching 10 minutes and I'm not sure that I've really said anything of value. Um, sorry. Uh, if you've made it this far, then I'm impressed. Um, 
And uh, I don't know if I'm going to make another video after my pre-op tomorrow um, or not. It's a possibility. But I'm not guaranteeing anything. And yeah, so if I don't make one then, then I'll probably make one at some point when I'm post-op. Um, probably not when I'm completely drugged up and incoherent, but, you know, it's a possibility that when I'm completely drugged up and incoherent, I will somehow think that that's a really, really good idea. Let's hope not, because I don't think you guys need to see that. Um, but, so if I don't make one before surgery, and I'll make one after, and, um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing well, and I guess I'll see you on the other side.